So in this video, I'm going to show you how to capture USB packets on a Linux device. So if you don't have Wireshark, uh, you're going to have to just do sudo apt install Wireshark. And first thing, just to show you what it's going to look like, we're going to open up sudo Wireshark and see what we see. Uh, you want to use sudo because we're going to be acting with we're going to be interacting with hardware devices. And what we're going to see is the Ethernet, the wireless, potentially some Bluetooth devices. And we will not see any USB devices currently. And to do that, we have to enable this in the kernel. And it sounds scary, but with a simple command, we can enable USB monitoring in the kernel. So that's what this mod prod USB. There's a module called USB mon, and we're enabling it. So now if we reopen Wireshark, we will see we have a potentially a bunch of different uh, USB uh, buses essentially. And so now we have to do is we have to find out which bus we want to connect to. All right, so we do that with LS USB. So you can see our one to six bus here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I want to track this keyboard right here. So I'm going to click USB Mon 1, and there's going to be a whole ton of traffic on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this, do some key presses and stop this. All right, we're going to filter for this person, and we're just going to say ours is 1, 3. So we're going to make this 1, 3. So this string right up here, we're filtering out from the source our USB devices. So one is the bus, three is the device, and I'm pretty sure uh, this one is the USB ID endpoint. Um, so if you have a more complex USB device, there might be multiple of those. All right, now we will also want to see the packets that are going from the host to the source, not just the source. So we're gonna do an or here, and we're gonna put destination here. So now we have the bi-directional communication. All right. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna start a new packet capture, and I'm just gonna press one key. All right. So what I've done right now is we've seen a package to send the D key and then to another packet here to release the D key. And we can see this from here. So to properly inspect a USB packet, we just click one of them and we bring down this drop menu. And from here, you can basically see where the bytes are at the bottom. So what's highlighted, it's changed. And what we want to look at is this leftover capture byte, which is the actual data of eight length. And from here, we can see that the third byte is the first key press. So that's what this seven is. And if we click on the bottom, we can see that that disappears because essentially the key press is nulled out. So zero, no keys are pressed. And that's essentially all there is to USB capture. You do have to note that this enabling of this uh, module in the kernel, you have to do that every time you restart. And if for any reason uh, using sudo is inconvenient or annoying because if you ever save a capture and you want to open up that capture, capture it's going to be in admin mode. Uh, protections wise what you can do is this guy right here this is the USB mon uh, location and you can change those permissions and I'll have a link on how to do that and that's basically it